She gave a shrug as though the whole thing was hard to explain, but I ought to know. Then she said softly, I'm waving to Grandma. She's up there, right over the trees. You ought to know that by now. Amen. Please join me in the affirmation of our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Each week we've been taking prayers of the church from the different hymnals throughout our history. And today we will be taking the prayers of the church from the 1978 hymnal. Let us pray. Oh gracious Father, when you open your hand you satisfy the desire of every living thing. Bless the land and waters and give the world a plentiful harvest. Let your spirit go forth to renew the face of the earth as you show us your love and kindness in the bounty of the land and sea. Save us from selfish use of your gifts so that men and women everywhere may give you thanks. Lord, in your mercy. Almighty God, in giving us dominion over things of the, on the earth, you made us fellow workers in your creation. Give us wisdom and reverence to use the resources of nature so that no one may suffer from our abuse of them and that generations yet to come may continue to praise you for your bounty. Lord, in your mercy. Most gracious God, according to your wisdom, the deep waters are opened up and clouds drop gentle moisture. We praise you for the return of planting and harvest seasons for the fertility of soil, and for the harvesting of the crops, and for all other blessings in which you, in your generosity, pour on this nation and people. Give us a full understanding of your mercy and lives which will be respectful, holy, and obedient to you throughout all our days. Lord, in your mercy. O oh God, in your love you have given us gifts which our forebearers neither knew nor dreamed of. Mercifully grant that we may not be so occupied with material things that we forget the things which are spiritual and thus, even though we have gained the whole world, lose our souls. Lord, in your mercy. Direct us, O Lord, in all our doings with your most gracious favor and further us with your continual help, that in all our works begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name, Lord, in your mercy. Watch, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, rest the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, 
And we especially lift into your hands today, dear Lord, Fred Voles, Harriet Avenarius and her family, Michaela Onken, Diana Ballou, Amy Miller, Becky Dawson, Ryan Lipstack, Alec Wilbright, and Irene. Into your hands we commend for all we pray. Amen. And now is the time where we are given the opportunity to share a portion of that which God has entrusted to us in order that others too may be blessed. Give as the Spirit guides. We praise you, our holy God, our maker, our love, our keeper. For the universe beyond our knowing and the places we humans call home. The cities and churches and schools are the sadly the evangelical Lutheran Church in America. We praise you for your covenant people and the centuries of faithful Christians. We praise you for your Son, God, who saves us from sin and from evil, who continues to lead us in your life. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took the bread, and he gave thanks to God, and then he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, for this is my body, given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again, after supper, Jesus took the cup and gave God thanks. And then he gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take and drink, all of you, for this is the cup of the new covenant in my blood, which will be shed for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. And so we remember your son, his life, his death, and his glorious resurrection, his word and his presence in this meal, and we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The feast has been set and is ready, so come and receive the Christ who receives you. Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we may fall into no sin, neither governance may be righteousness in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Bless we the Lord. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. 
Let us join now in our sending hymn, which is on the back side of your insert, I Come to the Garden. 